Now I've been doing this on YouTube for over seven years now, talking about professional wrestling. I know over seven years. When I started, I was 29. Every once in a while, one of you a-holes points that out. And I'm sure for some of you, that's probably seven plus years, too damn long. And you wish, like my hairline, I would slowly start to just give it up. Well, it's still there! It's still there! It's creeping, but it's got a long way to go to get to the damn summit. And just like the hairline, I refuse to lose. I refuse to give up. I just can't quit professional wrestling all the way. It's just too much of a part of my life and my identity for so many years and frankly decades. That's not just easy to walk away, even if it's not inspiring you, even if it's not bringing you a lot of joy and a lot of entertainment. It's hard to quit the habit, man. It's just like smoking. You know it can kill you. You still do it anyways. Drinking, same thing. Weed doesn't, but it's illegal. Who the hell knows in this world anymore? But I've always felt like one of the things, outside of the easy answer, is the rest of the old Off the Rope Show crew, um, and smoking and stuff and all that, you know, that's missing, and that's always been a big gaping void over the past several years for the Ojara Central Channel. There is no question about that. I've always felt one of the big things that was really missing was having a second wrestling brand to watch, a second wrestling program to follow. Like, I always felt like the old channel, even this channel, when I had both WWE with Raw and then I had TNA with Impact Wrestling, when I had both of those, I felt like that's when the channel was at its best. I thought that's when it was the most fun for me to do. I thought it was the most fun for you guys to watch. I felt like it was the most entertaining um, because there were different shows, different identities. I could talk about them differently. I could discuss them differently. There were different pros and cons to the table. One of the things that allowed me to do was say, hey, if WWE's product sucks at a time, I could really nail on them, but if I'm enjoying TNA's product, it can help cleanse the palate a little bit from the stink of the WWE, and it gives me something a little more positive to talk about. It gives me something different to talk about, have fun in a different way. Flip side, when TNA would be bad, WWE with Raw maybe was better. I could be a little more positive about Raw and hammer on TNA harder. And I really felt like it helped balance things out for me, and I feel like it was something that helped get different types of viewers, a different audience, had a, a little bit more of an inclusive feeling, because right now this is largely a WWE channel. And that was never by design. It was never the way I wanted to construct it. It was never the way I wanted it to be. It's just kind of the way it has become. And I feel like in large part it is because I lost the passion and love for TNA and then ultimately Impact Wrestling and then I'll start losing the passion and love for WWE and I kind of associate all of wrestling with what is left for me and it's not very good. So I come to you with an opportunity. I come to you with a chance for you to help this channel spread its wings. No, not like that. I'm talking about I'm coming to you and seeking your help to help me find another wrestling brand, another wrestling show to watch. Especially when we get post-WrestleMania, especially once we get past the NFL Draft. I'm going to have a lot more free time on my hands. And when that happens, I'm going to be looking for something to fill the time. Working out, trying to get my fat ass back in shape will be part of that. It already is starting to be a part of that. But I'm looking for something else, something else that can maybe help me be reborn as a wrestling fan, something that can help me find new life and new passion as a wrestling fan, something for me to be able to latch onto and really sink my teeth into. So I come to you with the opportunity to help me decide what other wrestling show, wrestling product, wrestling brand should I try to get into? What other show, brand, company should I start to watch? Now, is it SmackDown? Retarded Raw? Is it? Is it? God, I hope not. But is it? Is it NXT? Is it 205 Live? Is it Impact Wrestling? Do I go back to what I used to know and hope it's something like that again? 
Is it ROH? Is it New Japan? Is it Lucha Underground? I come to you and I ask you to make your case. Now this is not an example of the brand with the most votes automatically wins because everybody can sit there and flame me and say, ooh, you gotta watch Retarded Raw every week or you gotta watch New Japan every week. That's not any fun. I wanna get some discussion going and some debate. I wanna see people be able to passionately defend their product, not just necessarily do what we usually do, which is flame wars and crapping on the other companies, but defending what we watch, bragging about what you watch, telling me what is so great and awesome about what you watch and why you think I'm missing out if I'm not watching too. So you can take to the comments section, take to the OTR Central Twitter page, and let me know who I should be watching what I should be watching and knowing this that if I'm gonna bother watching it you know that I'm going to review it whether you necessarily like the outcome or not is something totally different but I'm looking to shake things up here as we get past WrestleMania 34 I'm looking to do something different do something to help bring balance to OTRS Central so if you want me to watch Lucha, or New Japan, or ROH, or NXT, or Impact Wrestling, or 205 Live, or Retarded Raw, here's your chance, make your case, make your best case. Let's have some damn discussion and some debate. I'm looking for help. I want you to help me. Tell me what you think I should be watching. What you think I should be reviewing. I can't wait to see your responses. I can't wait to see what you tell me, and I can't wait ultimately after WrestleMania to give another show a chance to watch something else for if no other reason than to break up the monotony to me of the only wrestling I watch is the bits and pieces of three hours of Raw every week. Because yeah, it's that bad. I need something. Please, please, please help me find something. Help this old fart wrestling fan become whole again with the wrestling bubble universe.